सो वट इज गिवन गिवन इज जी इज साइक्लिक रूप दैट मीन बाई डेफिनेशन ऑफ साइक्लिक रूप G is somewhat like this, and because order is n, that means by definition of cyclic group, we have element in either it is e or a raised to zero. Second, a a square up to a n minus one. so this is the definition that mean this group is generated by a now we have to show that this is g generated by a and the theorem saying that if gcd kn is one that mean kn r co prime then a co ak a, a raised to k also generate generate g example first we see what is the example suppose suppose g is group uh with respect to operation i take multiplication modulo 5 and this group is generated by 2 mean the element in this group become like this two or we know that one one is the identity one two and uh, three and four or in terms of this i can write this two raised to zero two and 2 raise to square and 2 raise to cube mean <coughs> this become this become when it is 2 this is 2 raise to 0 is 1 and it is 2 itself <coughs> and 2 square means 4 And two cube mean it become eight two into two into two eight and because operation is multiplication modulo five mean the eight when divided by five we get three right so this we can write <coughs> or simply we can write one two two square. Two cube. Now, what is the order of G in this example? Order of G is the number of element is four. So, if we say G C D, which number are co prime to four? One is the G C D of one and four is one and G C D of three and four is one. That means by this theorem, only these two number who who are co prime to each other three and one. That means from this we can say using this theorem here k is one and here k is three. That means G is generated by 2 or 2 ki power 1 and g also generated by 2 raised to power 3 that mean there are two generator of g see first we check whether this is generator or not that mean if i expand this this group what happen this become 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 3 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 raised to 4 so these four element now this mean 
the first element give us 8 and the second element give us 64 and the third element give us 5 1 2 and this element give us 4096 4096 right now, because our operation is multiplication modulo 5, all these numbers will be divided by 5. That means when 8 is divided by 5, I get 3, 3 is the remainder. And when 64 is divided by 5, I get 4. And when 512 is divided by, divided by 5, what I get? I get 2. And this 4096, if divided by 5, what I get? I get 1. Right? That means this is generated, this is a generator. Can that mean we found that this element and this element are generator? Whether this also be generator or not, we can check. This means if I say, if I say 2 raised to 2, that means this set contains element of that type 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 2 raised to 2, and 2 raised to 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 2 raised to power 4. Now what happened? This is 4. That means one element is there and this is 4 into 4, you can say. So 16, if 16 is divided by 5, I get 1. That means this element is found. Now, this is 4, 4 raised to 3. This means 4 into 4, 16, 64. This is 64. 64 if divided by 5, what I get? I get again 4 and this is again what we see 4 raised to 4 64 that means uh, this is 64 into 4 right this is 4 4 into that means this is 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 16 64 into 4 that is 16 and this is 256 now, what 256, if I divide, I get 1. That means, this number is not able to generate 4 element. This is cyclic subgroup, we can say. But, this 2 raised to 2 cannot generate all 4 number. Right? So, here, only 2 generator, 1 is... 2 itself and second is 2 raised to power 3. That means we only can take the number whose power is co prime to the order of the group. This is the example. Now, if we proceed here, <coughs> uh, this means this let let G C D K N is equal to N one, then there exist two integer such that such that two integer I can say P Q or I can say Two integer uh, P Q P Q such that K P plus N Q is equal to one. Right now, if I take base on both side base A, then what happen? That mean if I take base A. Kp plus 
and q is equal to a and this mean i can say a k p into a and q is equal to a now this number this number is identity because a n is equal to e because order is n that's why because if we exceed then new element will come therefore this is identity that mean here i can write a k p is equal to a right that mean what i can say i can say that a k uh or we can say a is some power of of a k so this mean a belong to this mean a belong to a k this is cyclic group generated by a k so here a equal to some power of a k that mean a belong to a k or we can conclude if i increase power of a then it is again some power of so we can say each element of a is there right or we can say that each element therefore all powers of a are in ak ak that mean if i take some power of a again it can be represented in term of ak and this mean we can say this mean we can say ak is generator of g generator of g now the second part we suppose this is equal to this and we prove this part right now the second part now suppose the second part let g is equal to ak then show gcd of k n is equal to 1 if possible if possible let or on contrary let gcd of k n is d is d and which is greater than 1 not equal to 1 then what happen this mean the common divisor of k and n is d that mean uh, d divide k and d divide n if d divide k that mean k can be written uh, some as some integer that mean we can say it is equal to td and this we can write n is equal to suppose sd where t and s are two integer now consider consider now consider a k 
k raised to s now k is td so i can write td raised to s and this mean because of associativity t d s are integer and they are associative so this i can write a a s i can bring inside and uh, this i can replace by a s d raised to power t raised to power t now what is sd sd is equal to a raised to n raised to t and because group is of order n that means this become identity and i uh, the identity power t it is again identity this is finally i get identity because order is n that mean what i have expressed i express that order of ak is s ak is s but what about s s is the number which we take here obviously because d divide n so s is the quotient and therefore s will be less than n because s is the quotient when n is divided by d so s is less than n s is less than n this show that this show that the here what was given the given is a k is generator this mean a k is not generator of g why <coughs> notice this point if a k order is less than n that mean the elements elements in g is uh, less than n because a k uh, uh, after s terms it become identity and it start become identity so, so this mean a k will not be able to generate an element in g k so it is not the generator right hence the contradiction hence the contra diction so so g c d of k n is 1 if we suppose it is not 1 then a k will not be generator right